You know, it is never easy when you're trying to navigate the waters of a friendship. Sometimes we meet people that become our friends for a season, and then other times they're there for the long haul. Well, my guest Carmitha felt that way about her friend Bianca, but says their friendship changed once Bianca upgraded her life and found a man and kicked her to the curb. The two haven't spoken in 10 years. Let's find out what's going on. Please welcome Carmitha to the show. Hi. Come on, Carmitha, give me model strut. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How, How are you doing? doing? Good. How are you? I'm really good. You look great and you smell great. Thank you. So uh, do you. Thank you. Mm. So, um, girl, apparently you have some unfinished business oh, with God. Bianca. Oh, yes. What's going on? You know, this is a this is a this, this young lady is a really nice young lady. Mm -hmm. You know, she came into my place of business. We became friends, like like store friends. Yeah. She'd come in, we'd she'd talk. She uh, um she had a little puppy with her, and she was just so cute, right? So she just come in, ask me questions, do all this cute little <laughs> stuff. In the midst of all that, she was like, "Hey, are you guys are hiring?" I'm like, "Oh, you want a job? Okay, sure. Why not?" You know, we, we connected. I feel like she would be great for the business, yeah. part of the team. So I said, okay, yeah, sure. So I set up the interview. So she got the interview, then we really became friends. You know, because we was working together, and she would call me for points, and just, you know, she just friendship wanted to bonded. be friendship. Yeah. yeah, so you say that she upgraded her life and then dumped you. Oh, what God. do you mean by that? So when she, so she, she got pregnant, and the guy that she was pregnant with, you know, up and down, young relationship, up and down. So I was like her mentor, you know, talking to her, say, girl, it's going to be okay. Just telling her it's okay, yeah. you know, to, to move on. So she moved on, and mm -hmm. she met this new guy, and then all of a sudden, this new guy and her, she just didn't want to hang out anymore with me. Mm. She didn't want to, you know, be my friend. She didn't want to go to parties anymore, shopping, eating. Like, she didn't want to do anything. So I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Like, yeah. why would you do me like that? I done yeah. bought you into the business, bought you here, you know, to make money, you know, because I felt like maybe you needed money, you know, just being a friend, just being a, a friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got goals and just started being with this guy. You know, this guy was in the professional world. And, you know, I what guess What professional she, world? He's a lawyer, doctor? No, he's, he's part of the sports league. He played in the M NFL. Oh, so yeah. she got a guy with, oh, this makes more sense with upgrade. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. So now he's working that she's, she's an NFL girlfriend. It, correct. So I'm like, oh, yeah. So I feel like, wow, okay, I'm not, I'm not a jealous person. You know, I'm, I'm happy for whatever life you have. So what happened after she got married? Oh, God. No connection. Done. Done. Completely. Done completely. She had her, her daughter had a birthday party. You know, because our daughter's kind of like the same age. So her daughter had a birthday party, wasn't invited, had to hear through the grapevine. You know, I'm like, these are kids. Like, why can't our kids be at least friends? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, we're, you know, why can't we still have the kids to be connected? Why do we have to be this way? And she's talking about, well, I don't think you, it's a good idea for you to come over here. I don't think it's just, I don't think it's a good idea. And then I just felt like she wanted to be around her NFL friends, mm. you know, because they have, you know, they connect in some type of way because their husband's all in the professional world. So she just, you know. I want to know from you, how has she hurt you? She hurt me because I just, by me, I'm a loyal friend. And I'm, I'm a ride or die. And I'll, and I'll just, I'm just... It just hurt my heart that people would use you and, and get to where they need to be and and don't want and once they get a a, a certain way or certain lifestyle, they want to change. You don't have to change to cause you done moved up in your in the world. You don't have to disown me or make me feel like like I'm I'm nothing. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I had your back. Yeah. So it's time for us to come face to face. It's time for you to come face to face with your friend that you haven't seen in 10 years. Everyone, please welcome Bianca to the show. <laughs> welcome, Bianca. Hi, how are you? You are fly. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, so 10 years, you haven't seen each other. Right. You heard what she said backstage. I What's did. going through your mind? 
What's really going through my mind is that my number has not changed in 20 years. So you could have called me the whole situation about you got me a job because I needed money. No, I inquired. You didn't get me anything. I applied well, for it. Let's and be clear. Hold on, wait. Let's be clear. Don't cut me off because I'm not going to cut you off in conversation. So let me finish. Um, I applied for the job. I interviewed for the job several times, and I landed the job myself. I told you, appreciated you for referring me. That's not true. Referring me. You didn't me. say anything to me. Yes, I did. You, you, took, don't, you took the don't friendship. Don't play games in my face, Carmita. You took Carmita. the friendship out of context. Don't play games in my face. And you did not say anything about nothing. I you, Because we were friends. And I didn't expect you to say, oh, thank you, I appreciate it. We're friends. But when you changed, that made me upset. When did I and change? That, you changed when, when my daughter didn't come to your birthday party. No, it was not. Well, because... well Bianca, I want to know this, because she says it really that you changed, especially when you got the man. I did not. OK, from your point of view, what happened then? From my point of view is that, yes, prior to it, my relationship before with my previous um, situation, I did come to her for advice and things of that nature. That relationship was deaded. And then all, all of a sudden, I met someone when I went out with my cousins. I met someone. And then we just hit it off. We were just hanging out all the time, going out, doing different things. He accepted my daughter and everything like that and was a father to my daughter. So I would uh, communicate that with her. And she was the one who was always like, well, let's go out. Let's go to the club. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. It was like a whirlwind when I met my husband, and he and she knows well, why that. Why would the why would the but why would I'm the, not going to I'm not going to why go would our relationship change? It didn't. You it just did wanted change. to go to a club. Not all the time. Yes, she we did. didn't even go to lunch, sweetie. That's not true. And not invite me to the daughter's birthday. I did invite no, you. No, you to did the, not. Yes, I did. Well, I why just wasn't invited I there? you. I just invited you. Let's get it straight. I just invited you to the birthday party because you would always come and try to confront me about, oh, you can't go out, you can't hang out because I, you got a man now, you can't do, do this because you got a man now. That's what it has nothing do. to do with being. No, it does not. You should be more understanding and know well, that my situation changed, and therefore I can't go hang out in, in the club. I can't go hang out and but go do this and do that. But did you tell me all this? I did. You disconnected. I did. From me. No, you did no, not. No, and you then disconnect, on, on and that you told point, me every I time you would tell me, you would say, hey. Hey, why don't you, oh, can you ask him? Can you go out? Can you get his permission for you to go out? I don't have to get anyone's permission to do anything. Well, I'm grown. I, you know why I said that? You know why I said that? Because you never, you disconnect from me. You didn't invite me to your daughter's birthday party. I understand the fact that a person get married. Let's be clear. I get that. But friendships don't end based on a the marriage. They sure. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so you disconnect, you disconnect from me. You wasn't trying to be my friend anymore. You know, I ain't seen you over 10 years. That's your problem. My number oh, didn't my change. Problem. Yeah, that is your problem. Because when I, I call because you when and we I had the birthday party. Listen, when Girl, I, you were invited to the birthday party. Don't get it twisted. You were invited to the birthday party. By who? By me. So why did she oh, feel like she her, wasn't? Because she called me the week before talking about, oh, well, you don't want to go hang out this week. I said, no, I can't go hang out with this week. This week. I'm making party preparations. She was like, see, that's what's wrong with you. You don't want to never go hang out. And I got you this job, and I did this for you, and I did that. Wait a minute. I don't need You're nobody lying. to keep telling me what they I, did for didn't, me because I said thank you. What, how, you what know, more can I, heard, I say I is heard a thank you? I you had this birthday you can't, party you can't, uh, with, through somebody else. It wasn't through no, you. No, it was through me, no, Carmita. The, the main reason why you got, maybe you need some, some um, ginkgo biloba. Or maybe you need some no. lion's mane. No, or maybe you I don't need, need something for thing. cognitive function because you, you can't to get remember I, correctly. It's been 10 because, years, so maybe listen, you forgot. No, I didn't forget anything. I'm steady. What was it that made you stop talking, though? Because I'm hearing you say she was a good friend. I'm hearing you say that she did go out. And then all of a sudden, it does sound like you just started saying no. What was that reason? I didn't just start saying no. Okay. We did go out. She's saying that I never you ever went. Go we did go out, but oh. you stopped when you got married. Well, Are you I ready? Hear Bianca's Are you point okay? I okay. Hear Bianca's Can I talk? Because I really want to get to. I want to get to the bottom of this. Okay. So the thing is, I we did go out. We went to lunch. We went to dinner. We went to the club. Still. But it was a situation not where I'm not going to do it all the time now that I am married. I'm not going to go out all the time now. I'm not. Because it's just out of respect. I don't want my husband to do certain things, and I'm not going to disrespect him by doing certain things. That's just so do you feel? Do you feel like Carmita did not respect your boundaries? Yes, she did not respect my boundaries. And every time I would say, she's like, oh, well, can you go ask your husband for permission to do this or go do that? So and I don't you, have to. I never you, said that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Were you clear about the boundaries? 
No. Was I clear about no. the boundaries? It was just like, no, we're not going. No, we can't do that. I no, didn't I'm say married. that. I yes, don't even talk like that. I want to ask her. I want to hear her. I want to ask her. I'll give you an example. I don't even talk like that. Bianca, let me hear. Well, your example is wrong. Maybe you need to rethink it. Let me hear. You know what? Let me hear. What did you give the boundaries? Talk to the hand. Did you get the boundaries? Talk to the hand. Okay, whatever. Did you did you make the boundaries clear? I did make the boundaries clear. I told her by time when I was, it's all it was all new to me. Everything was all new to me. Like I have someone that I'm with. I want to respect him. I want him to respect me in the same way that I respect him. You're trying him. to build a new relationship. So, I understand. Why couldn't she just understand that? It wasn't that I just stopped talking to but her because I did not. I'm asking him without you and saying anything. And I did, okay. and I did tell her because bogus. I told her before. I said, Carmita, look, she knows how I am. I'm not non-confrontational. I don't want to be put in a corner or whatever because I've worked on myself so hard to not just flip out and go like, wow. So if you want to stay going back and forth and clear. bickering on the phone no, back and not forth, da, 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 da. I'm not going to do that. It's facts. I'm not going to do well, that. Well, really, what it is is that the bickering comes from being hurt. And so that's what we have there to realize. You go. Did she you understand hurt. that? She was hurt. Well, you should have said that. Well, you should have known that anyway. I, I'm not psychic. Ooh. I'm not you psychic. Know, you know my I'm name upset. Is not, Hold on. I'm, I'm have not I ever treated you or say anything out I, the way to you? To, to yes. Call? No, I have not. Car I've, been very, I've been real cool. Don't play, Carmita. Cool. I like Girl, when people figure play. things out on their own. Do not play. Because I because felt... Because let me tell you, we're going to get to what I was about to say to y'all. And y'all uh, both just said it right now. You were hurt because I had to make sure that the language was clear and you weren't clear enough about your boundaries. Mm -hmm. So both y'all over here are saying, I miss my friend, I need you. And you're like, I love you too, but I'm trying to also figure out how to navigate this new relationship. And y'all are not communicating clearly about that. And right. then you got in this cycle of like, she don't want to be around me. And you're like, oh, she get on my nerves because she don't get, I'm trying to grow. Mm -hmm. That's all that was happening there. This was clearly about not being able to articulate and say what's really going on in your heart. You were hurt. Yeah. Because the exact language you used with me is you said, I hate that someone uses me. Mm -hmm. And I know that's what's lingering in your heart. What did you feel in that moment? Tell her. I just felt like you didn't want me around anymore. I just felt like you didn't care. I felt like... Um, you know, you, you got married and, you know, you married success and I just felt like you just left me behind. Like, you didn't, you didn't show me no love. It just took me to a whole nother level of thinking, like, I can't trust people now. Mm. Now, you know? let me tell you something. None of that is your responsibility. Let me be very clear. Your responsibility is not to navigate her emotions. Can you at least receive what she said, understanding that wasn't your responsibility? Yes, I can receive it because I've missed her as a friend. Like, I have missed her as a friend. There's been certain instances where I felt like, oh, dang, Carmita would have gave me great advice for this, and she wasn't there. But I did not know the way that she was feeling like I used her because I wouldn't use her for anything. I wouldn't Tell use anyone. I would her. not use you. I'm very sorry you felt that way because I did not. And I miss you as a friend. I honestly do. Now, I will say this. When you, she didn't set the boundaries and weren't clear about the boundaries, your feelings got hurt. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to navigate your feelings as well. True. Because I can see right now, when you get hurt, you be like, ah, nope, nope. I mean, when that's you... normal, though, right? No, no it's not. not no, it's not. We're not, not, we're not about not to normalize normal. unhealthy behavior now. Okay, on the Karamo okay. Show. <laughs> Thank you. No. Ma'am. Because I, I heard it. You saying, go talk to your man. Go, can your man let you out? Because you were trying to see if you could provoke her so that she could show you some emotion exactly. which would allow you to be vulnerable. That's true. That's why people do that. And so if you would have been vulnerable instead of trying to provoke her into vulnerability, yeah. then you could have probably heard her a little bit clearer. That's a possibility. Possibility. Yeah. But you're hearing each other now. Yeah. You're yeah. hearing each other now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you be willing to take the first steps to start to rebuild the trust and the communication in this friendship. <laughs> See what I'm saying? She give me that face. I was just playing. I, was I just, thought you changed. I, was just <laughs> I thought she changed. I was just playing. I was just playing. Um, I am. But all of that, ah, that got to stop. Because I, I don't respond well to that. Like, that makes Girl, me feel that like. that was 10 years ago. Well, I, I jumped down your you throat. Could, whatever you happened did. 10 years ago, I don't oh give God. a damn now. Oh How about that? I'm, I'm confused. Because you want to know I'm confused. You just did the same so thing on. over. This I is know. why I don't hold talk. On. Because on. you <laughs> still got that same this is personality. Car it's not, I'm my person. I'm, I'm, what Carmita. am I going to do? Morph Carmita. into another person? Carmita. And I'm going to tell you this. I can see the personality traits that are so positive in you. And I see the ones that are unhealthy. 
and I just watched it get played out again. You had a bout of vulnerability, and then something triggered you, and you went right back into the same behavior pattern. So if you want to try again, she's willing to take the first steps. But you have to acknowledge that when you feel triggered, mm -hmm. that you can't go into attitude mode. Okay. So are you willing to take the first steps? I'm willing to try. To try. You want to give your friend a hug? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna be all right. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.